Hello. Today I'm going to show you um, how I would plant elderberry if I was going to start it in a pot. You uh, you might be in Canada or the U.S. It's spring. It could be February. It could be April, May, and um, you're excited about planting elderberries, just like I am. Um, you might have gotten your cuttings from a bush nearby that you harvested this winter and then um, or maybe you got them in the mail um, you've stored them in the fridge in a ziploc bag and now it's time to plant them you can start them directly in the ground um, but one method that um, can be really great especially if you're new at this or you want to keep a closer eye on the cuttings as they as they root you can start them in a pot um, this is a common size pot that maybe you've gotten other plants in so you can reuse. It's okay. Um, we would recommend probably a little bit taller just to have a few inches above the bottom node there uh, to be covered with soil. This kind of pot is a little harder to find but um, it's great um, because it's, it's taller. So it's got, um, covers a few inches above the node, bottom node. Um, this is a common pot as well, it just will take longer for the roots to fill out. So, <clears throat> some soil that is beneficial in um, mycorrhiza is great. This one, Pro Mix, uh, organic, we've had good success with. So, I'll just make a little bit of a hole with my finger. Cutting in. Camp, camp, camp. There you go. Water and um, put somewhere with some sun. And it could be indoors if it's early, um, early, early spring and the ground's still frozen. Or you can go outside, frost is fine, uh, greenhouse. So there you have it. Um, this is just one way of planting elderberry. Just a couple tips. Don't plant multiple ones in a pot if you're going to try and separate them later because that could damage the roots. So just one foot pot. Um, there's no need for uh, rooting hormone. Some studies have shown that it doesn't add any um, benefits, so don't waste your money if you're going to go buy it. Um, it's best to root them in soil, starting them in water is a common, um, commonly shared as a method I've seen online, but it, you'll have much better success if you, if you skip that and just do what the pros do and, and, and um, plant the cuttings in soil. Uh, so there you have it. Elderberry wants to grow, and you can do it. If you're totally smart enough to grow elderberry, you can do it. <laughs>